What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Mew Legends. In this video I want to talk about the game's skill system and how flexible it seems to be in terms of giving you a lot of different options and ways to build your character and your class. I think any RPG, especially if it's an MMO or an ARPG, or in this case with Mew Legends actually being a bit of the both, it's an MMO ARPG really. Either way, a game like this needs to have a really good skill system to give a lot of potential for different combinations and creating builds and things like that. Uh, games like Diablo, Path of Exile for example, definitely are all about creating your own personal build. But as I was watching some of the streams that have happened over the last week, I made some observations that I think you will find interesting that separates Mew Legends from other games within the genre. First of all, Mew Legends has a pretty cool amount of customization in the classes. As I mentioned in the previous video, we've only seen four of the classes planned for the game, but for every class there are different weapons they can equip. For example, the Dark Lord can equip a one-hand weapon and a shield or have a two-hand weapon, but that's just the beginning. The skill options behind that are what really opens things up and gives each class a lot of choices in building into wildly different playstyles. The skills are customizable with various mods similar to the rune system of Diablo 3. For example, you've got a skill and then you've got the runes, which are basically modifiers, right? That may change the element from uh, physical to fire or something like that, or add more damage, make it cheaper to, uh, to use that skill, things like that. But they do it differently in Mew Legends. You don't unlock mods automatically as you level, but instead unlock the mods by using the skill. For example, there is a Whirlwind-like skill for the Blader class, and the more that you use that skill, the faster you will unlock mods for it. Each skill has three mod slots that can be filled from a pool of around five different mods that I've seen. So with around 20 skills per class, you've got 100 different mods that they can use for the skills and some kind of special card skills that also have their own mods. There's a lot of potential for each class to be built in a large number of ways. But wait, there's more. We also have the soul level system that gives us more customization in how we want to build stats. Again, similar to the Paragon system of Diablo 3, but unique in its own way by awarding bonuses for investing points and reaching certain ranks within each soul level category. So investing 30 points, for example, maybe in attack speed, you'll unlock extra bonuses of some kind for investing that far into that category. And so for all of these options, from the skill mods to the soul level points, can be reset and changed as easily as switching your weapons, it's a deep and flexible system that is very appealing to guys like me who like to theory craft and experiment with different builds and playstyles. So after having looked into this now for the past couple of days, watching streams and gathering info and stuff like that, I'm actually quite pleased with what I'm seeing here with Mew Legends. It's hitting the right marks, I think, that all of these games that are coming out of Korea like Mew Legends, Lost Ark, Lineage Eternal, and so forth, they all need to definitely be at this point in terms of giving players a lot of freedom and a lot of customization for building a unique class build for themselves next to all of the other guys that may be running the exact same class. And of course, not just the skills and things like that, but we've also got lots of cosmetics in the game for wings and mounts and armor. There's even costumes that you can put on over your armor as well in the game. So overall, it's a really satisfying looking system and I, I, this is what I'm gonna expect for all of the other games now from this point forward. But I wanna know what you guys think. Is this uh, sounding like a good amount of customization for you? Let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these Mew Legends videos here on the channel. I've got more videos like this and a whole lot more from other MMO ARPGs like Lost Ark, Lineage Eternal coming up very soon here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching guys. My name is Kinetic and I'll see you next time.